Hey, Chris. Hi. Uh, how you doing, Mr. Farley? Uh, I was just want to call and ask about Matthew, uh, where he says, not all will enter to the kingdom of God, only them to do the will of the Father. And then he goes on to say that many done many wonderful works in his name, and then he professed to say he never knew them. So I was talking about a guy about works. He says works save us, but Jesus is saying in that scripture that these people done many wonderful works. Right. And then he says that he never knew them. Okay, yeah. Well, let's talk about that, Chris. I mean, first of all, anybody that says works save you, uh, they need about an hour to review, say, two dozen Bible passages, and hopefully at that point they'll come to their senses, reverse their position, and apologize to everybody that they shared that with because that is an outright lie. It is not the truth, and nobody should be teaching believers or unbelievers, for that matter, uh, that they're saved by their work. Uh, that is Christianity 101 should clear that one up for by grace you are saved through faith it is not of yourselves so that nobody can brag about it those are Paul's words and that is the simplicity of the gospel message that everything is free a gift by grace salvation is something that is a connection with Jesus that is easy and light it brings rest for our soul it's not about earning and achieving it's about realizing and receiving big difference it is not about earning and achieving it's about realizing and receiving and so when we realize it's all by grace that our status with God is gifted to us that our forgiveness is a free gift that our righteousness is gifted to us for free because Jesus paid for it well then that makes a whole lot of sense it's not about God grading on a curve it's not about me trying my best it's about trusting not trying so you know, we get to this passage in Matthew 7 that you're referring to, and he says, uh, you know, many will say to me, didn't we do this in your name? Didn't we do this? Didn't we do this? They're bragging about their works. And Jesus says, I never knew you. Depart from me. Now, that's not a Christian losing their salvation. Notice Jesus' exact words are, I never knew you. Not that I knew you for a week or a month and then you flubbed it up. Not that I knew you for a year or a decade and then you sinned too much. No, this is I never, ever knew you. This is an unbeliever. Now you say, why are they an unbeliever? Well, you already nailed it. I mean, they're an unbeliever because they're bragging about their religious works and they're saying exactly what uh, the person you were talking to was saying, Chris. They're saying that because of their works, they're going to enter the kingdom and nothing could be further from the truth. Please, anybody out there listening, if you're standing at the gates of heaven and God were to ask, why should I let you in? Please let it be far from your lips that you might consider even saying, well, it's because of the stuff I've done for you, God. Let's not go anywhere near that. Let's not touch that with a thousand-foot pole. Instead, let it be on our lips because of what you did for me, God through the person of Jesus Christ, through the cross, through the resurrection. It's what you did for me, not what I did for you. And so that's what real salvation is about. And so as far as those who do the will, you say, what is the will of the Father? Well, remember, they asked Jesus that, basically. They said, expecting a laundry list of commands, they said, show us the works of the Father so that we may do them. And Jesus, in fine fashion, corrects their grammar and turns it on their ear, so to speak, and says, hey, uh, you know what? The work, singular, not plural, the work of the Father is that you believe in the one who he sent. So how about that? Taking works, which they imagine to be, oh, maybe the Ten Commandments, or throw in tithing and get 11 commandments, or, oh, I don't know, 613 commands as you collect them all from the Jewish law. I'm sure they expected a laundry list from Jesus of the, quote, works of the Father in order to enter that kingdom. And you know what he said? He said, the work is to believe. And it sounded a bit like the who's on first routine as they 
they went round and round in circles trying to understand, wait a minute, the work is to believe and believing is a work and what? You want me to make every effort to rest? Hebrews even picks up that theme, doesn't it, in the fourth chapter, make every effort to enter God's rest. That's about believing. Make sure you know the gospel. Make sure you understand the gospel. Make sure you understand the grace of God and that that's how you're saved and that that's how you grow and that there's no other way. There's one name under heaven by which you can be saved freely, not of yourselves, a gift of God. Make sure you get it and you open the door and receive it because in him you have the gift of eternal life and forgiveness on top of that. So how incredible is that message. So that's what the work of the Father is. That's what the will of the Father is to believe in Jesus. And these folks in Matthew 7, they were missing the mark, my friend, just as you suspected. They were all about what they were doing for God instead of what God had done for them. So I hope that brings some clarity to you there, my friend. Uh, reach out to us again anytime, Chris. Great to hear from you.